Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 901. This is The Color Purple, the 2023 version. The Color Purple is a 2023 film that is based on the book of the same name by Alice Walker and, and is directed by Brits Basarur, which is spelled B A C A W. U L E, Brits Fossil Roar. And this is a second film adaptation based on the book. The first adaptation was released in 1985, directed by Steven Spielberg. And this movie has producers Oprah Winfrey, Steven Spielberg, and Quincy Jones. Well, Steven Spielberg and well, Steven Spielberg was the director of the original film. Quincy Jones was a producer as uh, on the original film as well, and Oprah Winfrey was in the original Color Purple film. So this new version has Warner Bros. Pictures, Alpen Entertainment, and Oprah Winfrey films, or OW films. And I saw this movie on January 15th, 2024 at AMC Westchester 18 in Westchester, Ohio. So, this is about a girl named Siri who is torn apart from her sister and her children and faces many hardships in life, including an abusive husband. With support from a sultry singer named Shrug Avery, as well as her standhood ground stepdaughter, Siri ultimately finds extraordinary strength in the unbreakable bonds of a new kind of sisterhood. I thought it was a pretty good movie. Now, I've never seen the original film or read the book, but this is a bold new take on the beloved classic. And this movie is not just based on the book, it's also based on the musical as well, as part of the movie is a musical. I think this was a Broadway musical, I believe anyway. But this takes place in 1909, where Siri is given away in marriage by her abusive father to a local farmer, Albert, who treats her cruelly. Siri is God-fearing and deliverance comes in the form of jazz singer who takes her away to another city far away from her misery. She may now get her one due happiness, but there is a problem. Siri is separated from her sister, and Siri is trying to figure out a way to find her sister, Nettie Harris. And so, trying to get out of a, of a relationship with her abusive husband, she finds support in a jazz singer named Shrug Avery and other women and Siri tries to find the strength to try to get her freedom back and also try to figure out a way for her to reunite with her sister. I thought it was a pretty good movie. So we see Fantasia Borrello as Siri Harris Johnson and Priscilla Puma Pacey plays young Siri in the film. And then we see Harry Berry as Nettie Harris, who is the series' sister. And then we also see Tarasha P. Henson as Shrug Avery, the jazz singer who helps Siri in need. We also see actors like Danelle Brooks as Sophia, who is another woman who helps the Siri. Coleman Domingo portrays Albert or Mr. Johnson, who is the abusive husband of Siri Harris. Corey Hawkins plays Harper Johnson in the film, and I just read about this, but Oprah Winfrey's production company is Harper Films, but she changed it to Oprah Winfrey Films, or OW Films, in the movie. Harper, I thought originally it was because it was Oprah spelled backwards, but I just found out that Harper also mean also referred to Harper Johnson from the color purple which I thought was pretty cool. But if you think about it, Harper's Oprah's built backwards. O-P-R-A-H 
H A R P O, which I thought was pretty cool. And then we see Ho or H E R as Mary Screed Agnes. Louis Gosset Jr. as Oi Mr. Johnson, John Pelisti as Grady, and Andrew Ellis, Ellis Table as Mama, David Allen Greer as Reverend Samuel Avery, Dion Cole as Al Alfonso, Tamara Mann as First Lady, Elizabeth Marvel as Miss Millie, and just like Oprah Winfrey. Um, who was an actor in the original film and a producer on this film, there was a small cameo appearance by Whoopi Goldberg in the new version. And Whoopi Goldberg was the, was the main, and um, played the main character in the original Color Purple movie. Which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, I thought it was a pretty good movie. And it's definitely... A new take based on the beloved classic that has been loved by millions worldwide. And now I would like to see the see the original film. I think it would be pretty good. But yeah, I really like the new version. I definitely recommend it. And purple happens to be my favorite color. So, so that's even better. But yeah, the color purple is really good. So that's my movie review of the Total Purple, the 2023 version. Please stay tuned for my next movie review. Alright, goodbye.